Hi everyone, my name's Mad Matt Lugos, welcome back to Outer Wilds. I just loaded in and the thing didn't blow up. So... We'd better go and investigate. Right? Where did it go? It, it was behind... Um, Giant's thingy. <laughs> it's in, no, it's, it's no my technology. Bits are still broken off it though. It didn't blow up though. Maybe it just didn't pop in. Maybe it still didn't, it just didn't animate. Okay, okay, yeah, sorry, it just... It's just we've had that like, every time, you know, so it's just weird that it didn't uh, didn't happen. So let's check the uh, the old ship's log. Yep, escape pod two. We found the Sunless City and the Sun Station. But we've still got stuff to do in the Sunless City. And now my city built into the walls of a huge underground cavern. The city is divided vertically into four districts. The Nomai debated building a sun station in order to power the Ash Twin project. Several Nomai opposed its construction, arguing that failure could result in the destruction of the solar system. There is more to explore there. That is where I was intending to go, but the fact that the little space station didn't blow up uh, bothers me greatly. <laughs> the Nomai debated building a sun station in order to power the Ash Twin project. So they, I believe that the quickest way to get back there um, is to go to the the uh, what was it called now? The the quantum moon locator, right? Yeah, so if we can get to the, the locator thing, the dial, without flying into the sun. Oh! <laughs> God damn you, autopilot. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <gasps> yeah, see, see how different the voice sounds? See, now I'm going to really regret that now. I guess it still happened. I just didn't see the little blue thing shoot out. <laughs> yeah, like, uh, the voice sounds kind of masculine and then feminine, at, you know, at different times. But, uh... These creatures are genderless, I, I believe. Oh, I didn't look at the map. Alright, we're out of the atmosphere. Let's not fly into the sun again. Quickly. I think we're still on course to hit the sun. Okay, abort. First thrusters. Alright, alright, alright. So we need to go and find... So we could actually fly right to the core, you know? Oh, for God's sake, come on, come on. Ah, uh, what? How am I struggling this bad? This is uh, really off-putting. 
So I don't know what the big uh, machine is. That's where we need to go. Oh my god, Matt. Matt. Alright, let's um, stick it over here. Oops. Right in between the trees, please. Right, okay, that was stressful, but um, I want to get to where I want to go, you know? Right, so I believe where we want to go is over here. Yes, yeah, it is. Because it was by the, uh, the rocket launching bit. If we look over this cliff's edge, there should be a little hole. Yes. And we find ourselves where we want to be. Just have to get past these, the, uh, the ghost crystal things. Okay. And we're in. Uh, I'm not going to bother shutting the door behind me because um, I don't think it matters. Okay, so we went for uh, the Eye Shrine District last time. So we need to go to the lowest floor first uh, because that's where the sand. So we need to go to that high energy lab trailhead. Okay, that was a mistake. Ah, oh, maybe it wasn't. My energy lab. We need to get down here quick, because this is the place where the sand's going to fill up first, so... What is this? Oh, high energy, obviously. Come on now, Matt. Okay, so we can't really see too well in here. There's cacti everywhere. Just follow the cable. Okay, it's eerily quiet. Uh, I'm not sure if this means we can walk on it. It does. Yeah. No! Wow, the sand's already here, dude. How can I not do this? Why can I not do this? Jesus, man. What was up with that? Was it just the thing? Is this a dead end? Is this a dead end? I'm dead. That is a gruesome death. Okay, so that's... Maybe I just didn't get through... No, because it was sealed in rock. That was weird. Maybe I jumped down too quick. Maybe I should have taken the stairs. God damn it. 
Okay, so that was two quick loops in <laughs> 10 minutes. <laughs> Drove into the sun and got crushed by the sand. Sorry, guys. Not make such a meal of it. It's kind of like that Dark Souls thing, you know, where you keep dying to the same boss and then you try and speed run your way there. And then you make lots of little mistakes just trying to get to the damn boss. <laughs> How silly. The Ash Twin's gonna get in the way. Might be worth checking out what this thing is, to be honest. Oh. Okay, stressful beginning. We, uh, we're going to investigate this glowing thing, which obviously the high energy thing is powering. So that's where I imagine where it leads to. Oh, I've got that cactuses. Cacti. Uh, these are hints, obviously, because... I wonder if I can grab that with the scout. Let me double check there was nothing up here except for this, which we can't access just yet. Alright, let's go, let's go. Time for wasting. Raimi, no, this door will need to. Sorry. This door will need to remain closed for some time. Pi and I are running an experiment based on the extraordinary findings, findings from the White Hole Station. Maybe an update. The High Energy Lab is now being used to design the Ash Twin project. If you're here to help, or even just to observe, be sure to use the Sunless City path to the lab. Hmm. We need the Sunless City path to the lab. Right. Pi, Raimi and I will be running this experiment until one of us, specifically me, can prove the other wrong. So although it's inconvenient, the lab currently can only be accessed by path from the Sunless City. Raimi, inviting sand inside would disrupt our setup and could have enormous consequences. We realise this is an intriguing prospect, but the door must remain closed nonetheless. A high energy lab. Okay. Sunless City. Oh, let's get let's get moving. What well, everything fills with sand. Okay, so this is the path to where we couldn't get just then, right? Uh oh. There's the Sunless City. We can flow over that stuff. Uh, crash site caves. 60 meters, so we might as well just have a quick look. Wow.
These are the crash site caves. Please don't be another dead end filled with sand. Oh, this is where we... Oh, flipping heck. This is where we came in. Refill your air supply tank and return quickly. Ah! <laughs> Disasters like, well, I suppose I make a mess of the majority of interactions in this game, but they come in threes. Oh, I'm due another pointless, gruesome death. Alright, I think we can float across. Get in. I honestly didn't do that on purpose. I just tried to get down the hole. <gasps> oh. This episode is a disaster. Let's just get back to the main bit. Uh, we do need to explore for quantum matter on Timber Hearth as well, right? Three deaths, guys. Three. Oh, the German three. I really want to go and try and get across the ghost matter again, but... Shirt. It's near here, right? Yeah, that's good enough. Bingo. Stupid ghost matter. Get me in there. Right, high energy lab is fruitless. This is, uh, this place is fruitless. Right, so next one is uh, Stepping Stone District. Stepping Stone Cave. I, I haven't really explored the interior, have I? But there's bound to be some stuff in here. Uh, Levy. 
We're meeting in the fossil fish cave to play the game. You're too big to climb through the anglerfish overlook hole. Lady, you'll have to go the long way, but isn't it but it isn't far. Go to the stepping stone cave and then up and into the fossil fish cave. Tajay? I tried to get to the fossil fish through the stepping stone cave, but I couldn't find the entrance. Where is it? Elix. I remember remember to feed the fossil fish first. If you go to the anglerfish overlook and throw a light into his mouth, he'll show you the way. Lamy. Tajay can't fit through the anglerfish overlook hole anymore because he grew bigger. He's taller than Levy now. Maybe. Who cares? Elix is still the tallest. So they have their kids here. Oh, ship log? Ship's log. Okay, is that like a way into the anglerfish cave? Tajay, are we playing the fossil fish game tonight? Solanum, I fed the fossil fish a new lantern. If you go to the stepping stone cave, the entrance to the fossil fish cave is easy to see now. Levy, gratitude, Solanum. It's good you're small enough to climb in through the hole at the anglerfish overlook. Lamy, I'm still small enough. Levy, you won't be for long. Mum and Dad are tall, so you and I will be tall too. Hmm. So we can get in through the, the entrance we've we've just been to, right? Stepping stone cave. There is an entrance to the anglerfish thing here, but we might need to do something first to light the way. Which, uh, yeah, might have been useful. I can kind of see the way, unless that's where I've just come from. Ow. Please don't be where I just came from. I'm going to be terrified of going to... The, oh, there we go. Going to this angle of fish. Come on now. Oh, let's try that again. Oh, we need to do something else first. We need to go back there. Didn't mean that. We need to... Oh! Ma... Thank you. I'm, I am making such a mess in this episode. Right, so I think if we shoot the thingy in here, that should light it up. If we shoot something in its mouth, that makes it light the way. Right. 
So now we leave that there. We leave that there, right? The scout stays there. And hopefully if the sand hasn't poured in already. We can... And it's a stepping stone cave and it should light the way for us. Or it should be, well, we can see where the scout is, right? It's above us. Hmm. Hmm. Oh God, the sand's coming. Oh, we made it, guys. Right, let's find out what on earth this horrible creature is about. Levy. Whoever was it... Whoever was it when we ended last time is the anglerfish. Because I'm playing a game. Levy, rule change. The anglerfish now has to wear a blindfold and do not peek. Levy, the rest of us, the little fish, line up against one more when the anglerfish says so. The little fish sneak across to the other side. Levy, that if the anglerfish catches you, you're eaten. Levy, little last little fish to be caught is the new anglerfish. The old anglerfish gives the new anglerfish the blindfold and becomes a little fish. Levy, why are we changing it? It's too hard if you can't see anything. Levy, Ant Antipi says real anglerfish are blind, so you have to wear a blindfold. The rule stands. Okay, anglerfish are blind because it's so dark there. Maybe they don't need sight. Elix, rule update. It's okay if younger kids don't wear the blindfold when they're it. The rest of us will still wear it for scientific accuracy to make the game more even. Okay, so anglerfish are blind. Right, I think we might be dead, guys. So... The sand's going to be pretty close to trapping us in. Let's try and get out. That's pretty much all I think we can discover in here, right? few residences we haven't been in, I'm not sure. Okay, let's avoid the ghost stuff. We haven't been here, I don't think. Oh yeah, we have. Okay, that's in the ghost uh, matter room. How close can we get to this stuff? Ah! Okay, there are bits <laughs> that we can stand on. You know? <gasps> what is here? Be welcomed in this place. The shrine is a space to reflect on what brought us to this star system, the signal from the eye. We observed the eye's signal in our travels and followed it here to find its source. What we know is this, the source of the signal, which we have chosen to call the Eye of the Universe, is other than this universe itself, the rest we have yet to learn. Enter and open your mind to its possibilities. Oh man, the sand's coming in. 
If the eye called to us, why won't it reveal itself? Why is it so difficult to locate it? If the signal stop, does the eye no longer desire to be found? Perhaps this isn't the eye's choice. The eye may not be able to communicate with us more than it already has. Did something happen to it? Is the eye natural or artificial? Maybe someone built it. The eye is older than the universe itself. How could something exist before its creator? It could naturally could be naturally occurring, though this doesn't answer how the eye could be as old as it is. I mean, there is the thing that they discovered, right? Which is about the uh, in the white hole thing about how they kind of travel back in time. Did the eye deliberately call out to us by sending the signal, or did we hear the signal by coincidence? We could be seeing meaning where there is none. Suppose the signal was produced incidentally. Does that mean the eye is any less important, though? Perhaps the eye wanted to be found. Could it be sentient? Maybe it chose us. Does the eye desire something from us? Could it need us in some way? Maybe it doesn't have to be us. Okay, now I think we're trapped. So the eye could have been a signal that they themselves sent that's kind of travelled back in time or something weird like that, right? I don't know how we get out of this place. Oh. Alright, I'm glad that we discovered that. Um, but we've probably missed some more stuff, but we have to get out of here for now. I hope I've got enough fuel. Nope, nope, nope. Yeah, I'm aware. We're near the ship, though. We could refuel here. We could maybe even go to the, to the Ash Twin, right? Now that it's not got sand all over it. I mean, we might as well. Knuckle up. Alright, let's... Oh. Let's head over to the Astrid then. Hey, hey, hey. God, the, the planet, because it's such a small planet, it's like spinning away from me. Alright, this is going to have some new information. The anglerfish fossil. Um. Sunless City, yeah, we need to go back there. Um, no, my children used to play a game here. One player was the anglerfish and wore a blindfold. The rest of the children, the little fish, lined up against one more. When the anglerfish said go, the little fish had to sneak across to the other side. The blindfold rule was added because real anglerfish are blind. Yeah, we knew that information. A Nomai city built into the walls of a huge underground cavern. This is just... There's more to explore here. Okay. Yeah, they debated building the sun station, four districts. The Nomai travelled to this solar system in pursuit of a signal 
from something other than the universe itself. They named the source of this signal the Eye of the Universe. There's more there. Okay, I'm going to have to go back at some point. Quantum Moon Locator and Quantum Caves. Okay, we're wasting time. Right. Right. Where is the path? We can't smash anything, so we can't get in there. Okay, can we get into this place? The door looks shut. It's sealed. Hey, okay, very ominous looking kind of paths, you know? You know what these cacti are from? I feel like they're kind of maybe to do with the bramble. Oh! Oh! Arrgh! Get out of there! Please don't hurt me. Wow, that is crazy. It just passed over us. Okay, so we've got an open slot there. What is this? Hello? Hello? This looks so recent. Is this like a space suit? What is this? Can we not excavate or uh, excavate? Do something with this. So they wore clothes. Oh man. Are there no scrolls? Slow down. Okay. Oh! <laughs> I thought you were a floor. I'll have to scout in the anglerfish. Sorry, scout. The presence of this is uh, fascinating. Hi, friends visiting from the Hanging City. The Hanging City is, uh, um, Brittle Hollow. We're planning the Ash Twin project at the High Energy Lab on Ember Twin's equator. Conoy, I became lost on Ember Twin, my gratitude that Raimi found me. But the High Energy Lab is the building with the large solar panels. I'm surprised I didn't see it. Raimi, I imagine our otherwise immensely clever Conoy would lose his own head if it weren't anatomically impossible. Okay. That didn't enlighten me as much as I hoped. This is the first time we found, like, clothes or something resembling a full body. Oh man, it's coming back. So this path is, like, orbited pretty directly by this thing. He must have got caught in it. Eye of the storm. <laughs> Amazing. Alright, let's see where this else this goes. Hmm. Got another one of those um, energy labs, it looks like, down there. Okay, this one has an accessible door.
Okay, I can't see anything down here. I feel like I'm missing something with these. I cannot fire this thing straight. Okay, maybe not. Sugar. Uh oh. <gasps> oh, it's a. Oh! It's like the white hole thing. Where am I? Am I on Timber Half? No way! How have I not realised that this whole time? This is fast travel. Uh oh. That's fast travel, guys. Yeah, that's going to have benefit us, right? Being able to jump from planet to planet. Is the uh, tornado near? I'm, uh, I'm so disappointed in myself that I've not realised that sooner. Oh, well. Big cacti. Okay, we're near the end of the loop. Which is a shame. Um, what is going on? Ah, quick. Clary, here's our first delivery. Yarrow, one warp core, fresh from the Black Hole Forge. Root is installing this core's sibling on Brittle Hollow as I write this. Clary, I wish I could wait here for you to arrive, but the forge and my unfinished work there is calling. I'll return with more materials soon. Yarrow, my gratitude, Clary. With this, the Ash Twin project is underway. Yarrow, I confess I'm deeply curious about what you and Polk found on the White Hole Station that started this project. Could I visit some time to learn more? Clary, I recommend you do. The White Hole Station is the model for the towers being built for the Ash Twin project. So a visit to the station would be doubly useful. Yarrow, I suppose more precisely I would like to visit the Whitehall station with you, Clary. Polk, Yarrow, stop using this scroll wall to flirt with my sister. In romantic matters, her density rivals are neutron stars, and go meet her on the Whitehall station. Clary, I'd be happy to explain our findings. That's it, guys. Okay. So we've learned we've learned a, a reasonable amount there. Anglerfish. The anglerfish is blind. Oh, we've learnt that. Uh, we know how to uh, warp between worlds now. We've got like a kind of fast travel now. Uh, but it means we can't take our ship, obviously, so we'll be on foot. And um, yeah, so sorry about dying constantly at the start. It's probably quite funny, to be honest. But, um,. How did I die? I drove into the sun. 
And I got crushed by the sand and I got killed by the ghost matter. Great. <laughs> you live and you learn. So we're going to have to keep it at one, you know, substantial loop for this episode, I think. Yeah, so we learned about the anglerfish on, on the Ember Twin. Uh, the kids used to play a game that was based on the science of the fact that it's blind. But it does have that light on it, weirdly enough. Weirdly enough, it has like that little torch, like little antenna sticking out of its forehead. Which is a bit odd if it's blind, you know? Maybe Dark Bramble, it's dark. So obviously, it's pit maybe it's pitch black there. So um, maybe we're going to have to navigate our way around them at some point. But um, yeah, that's opened up a new way of traveling around. So we've got a lot more to explore on the on the Ember Twins, um, on on Ember, on the Ember Twin, and on on, on the Ash Twin as well. So um, I, I don't was the I think the Ash Twin project might have been the teleportation or the warping, right? That's likely what that was. Um. So yeah. Uh, sorry for dying constantly at the start, guys, but uh, we still have more to explore in in the in the Sunless City, which I'm unsure which bit we need to go to, because or whether we just need to go to bits that are connected to it differently. Um, there were a few other cave entrances that we were warned against not going in. Maybe it's to do with them, or um, I'm not sure, because the fourth floor had. We uh, just led to the cave exit, right? The ground floor was a dead end where the energy lab was. Um, and we explored the other two bits. There, the anglerfish obs observation deck and the, uh, the something stone bit. So, yeah, uh, we'll leave it there then, guys. Uh, we'll pick it up here next time. I hope you enjoyed this episode despite all the deaths. And uh, just remember, everybody, never trust an on crate. I'll see you next time.